that really pissed me off that's on a timeline so this is courtesy of over under and they shared this news it says louis vuitton and nike air force one by virgil abloh client order sheet the shoes retail at 2000 euros for the lows and 2500 for the highs exclusively available to top louis vuitton clients the general public will not be able to purchase and to me that is a direct spit in the face of Virgil Abloh's legacy that these won't be available to purchase for the everyday consumer like you and I. Don't get me wrong, maybe I wouldn't have the 2,000 euros available to hand to purchase them, but not having the opportunity to do so or to even pontificate or to think about doing so, to even have the ability to save to get them is really annoying. Really, really annoying. The whole point of Virgil making these shoes, I think part of the reason was obviously the legacy of the Air Force One um, was obviously, you know, Louis Vuitton's place and influence within streetwear, within fashion in general, the Air Force One's attachment towards streetwear and fashion in general, and mixing and bringing those things together was essentially a celebration of everything that makes fashion streetwear as great as it is and instead of having both of those things occupy different fields and have one person standing on one side of the room or on the other side of the room he was always somebody that brought people together and what better way to bring people together than to make a shoe that would represent the low of society and then to take a brand like louis vuitton which is the height of society and bring them together do you know what I mean like and he basically said this himself right he liked to always mix the overground and the underground to take the commercial with the underground to take the whatever it may be right all this kind of things are stuff that Virgil said ad nauseum over the years and to now you know in the wake of his death to release these shoes and only have them available to limited edition or sort of VIP clients makes no sense it makes absolutely no sense yes there should be some available to VIP clients of course but there should be a large majority of these shoes made available to the wider public, especially in the wake of his death. This would be an ultimate way to celebrate his life, especially because this is the pinnacle of his collaborations that he did with Nike. The, the stuff that he did with the Nike 10 collaboration was some stuff that I think will go down in sneaker history, right? But the thing that, the thing that will maybe he will be remembered for the most is the way that he kind of, you know, uh, punctuated that entire Nike story by making the, again this probably wasn't the final piece of the whole nike story that he had i'm sure these were maybe made uh, it wouldn't be surprising if these were made at the same time he was making the nike 10 stuff but as a kind of story arc to see from the outside in it just like a general person looking from the outside who has no extra info it's quite nice to see that the end point it came with air force ones and it just came with just doing them the classic way using Louis Vuitton leather materials and then applying them on like the classic Air Force One shape and silhouette that everyone knows and loves. That I think was a pinnacle of like showing, okay, cool, this is the meeting of these two worlds. And to not have them available for the general public, I think is a real, real piss take. And if anything, this to me further solidifies why people are buying rips. This is another good reason why, because fair enough, limited edition shoe comes out and you can't even purchase it because of bots and resellers or whatnot cool but they're telling you outright from the get-go you can't buy these these are not for you you are not worthy to purchase these so what are most people going to do who just want to wear them and want to floss and want to honor someone's legacy or they just want to you know be part of the cool club cool guy club and don't really care about anything else they're just going to go out and buy reps especially if the reps are of decent enough quality to make them passable because for the wide majority of people, I think they won't necessarily know that these are made with Louis Vuitton leather, leather materials. They might have seen them beforehand online, but they won't know the extent of the craftsmanship that goes into them, if there is any. Because I'm a bit dubious to that too, because they love, they love to speak about that sort of stuff, but we don't really see any evidence of it. They just probably use the same levers they use in, in general stuff. But hey, I don't want to get into that conspiracy. But that aside, with the standard and quality that replica sneakers are at the moment, these people are just asking for trouble. And then when it comes to selling stuff or buying stuff on StockX, if you've got the money and you want to get these on resale, I would I would really implore you to make sure you get yourself on that VIP order, order list because there's no guarantee that what you'll be purchasing on StockX is going to be real. There's no guarantee, zero. And, you know, it's, it's one thing for me to go out and buy a rep because I can't buy the legit pair, but it's, it's another pain to pay 
authentic prices and then end up with a replica sneaker that would i don't know how, how much that would hurt me that would hurt me to another level because you know replica sneakers are usually cheaper than retail right so imagine you you pay flipping what let's say ten thousand for a pair of these and then you end up realizing that they're reps which would retail for like three hundred dollars or something absolutely crazy you, you don't want that to happen to you so that that's yeah that's basically the point i'm making i just can't believe that they would do this especially in the wake of what's going on with StockX and nike lawsuit you'd think they'd be have a bit more of an eye on the market wouldn't want to flood it with fakes but unfortunately this is just going to flood it with fakes especially if a few of these colorways be become the more favorite ones with people especially resellers you're going to see them all over the place so i pray for anyone trying to buy these retail i really do because you are going to be in for a shock the market is going to be flooded with fakes in my opinion personally um, if I had to pick from a colorway, it'd probably be these ones here, the kind of uh, silver, black with yellows, or maybe it'll be like the classic all white mid, or yeah, the classic white mid top with a leather with the leather LV monogram embossed all over it. Those look pretty hard, or of course, just the classic lows with the leather embossed all over it also. But those three are probably my standout ones, just because of the, you know, I know that shape, I know that silhouette, and I know that colorway pretty easily. Um, okay, this is the four sheet someone has available here. Oh, that Celtics colorway is pretty tough. I'm not really a fan of the gold, I've got to be honest. I'm actually surprised that they're not they're not priced based on the kind of application. You know, some people would think maybe the gold would be more or the, this one with a different color. I mean, it's all just all one, all one, all one price. Doesn't matter if you're purchasing a mid or um, or a or a low. Interesting, they went for mids and they're not highs. Interesting, but yeah. Um, the ones with the spray paint on the side too look pretty decent. I wonder who did the artwork for that. That looks sick. But yeah, I'll definitely go for these here, which are, what's the colorway? Monogram embossed suede calf leather and monogram and best metallized canvas. And then you've got this one with the monogram leather, monogram embossed in the green. That one's nice. And of course the white in it, the monogram embossed on these ones is going to be so hard. Like people thinking you're wearing regular Air Force Ones, so you they look closer and they see all the little LVs on the top. Ooh. They've even got the flipping um, um, Home Invasion Air Force Ones available too with the leather and bust all over them. Absolutely splendid. Splendid, splendid, splendid. But yeah, um, I guess keep an eye out for them if you're interested. You're probably not going to be able to get them anyway, as I'm not going to be able to get them. So most likely what I'm going to be able to do, I'm going to have to call up my my um, my Shanghai brothers and we're going to have to get these shipped over Beijing, Shanghai, wherever they're made. And I'm going to have to get a rep of these because I need them. I need them. I really do, really, really do need them. Um, they look absolutely fantastic. I'd wear every single pair of these really would. But again, Nike just keep making it difficult for us to actually purchase shoes. And then they wonder why the rep market exists. They absolutely won this. Absolutely shocking um, own goal from them. But, you know, I guess they know better than I do. I guess they know better than I do.